Hello and welcome to the Castanet Studios. I'm Jen Zielinski. Today, January 8th, would have marked Elvis's 80th birthday. 38 years after he passed, people are still celebrating. People like the tango's Rob Balston, an apparent closet Elvis fan, this notable comedian... You should, you should say Elvis has entered the building. That'd be funny. Yeah. ...is thrilled about celebrating the king's birthday, and apparently Elvis has entered the building. <laughs> Hello, baby. Can I call you, baby? Sure. All right, baby. I'm Elvis. I'll call you whatever I want. <laughs> Rob, why do you feel people are so excited about celebrating the king's birthday so many years after his death? Well, that's obvious, Jen Zielinski. I mean, baby. It's because I'm awesome. And it's all part of being awesome. Awesome people like awesome people. And again, it's all part of being awesome. A dedicated uh, Elvis fan. Uh, how do you celebrate and how do others celebrate the king's birthday? Oh, well, being the king, I always like to sing my own songs. But you know what? I know on January 8th, every year, people go home. And they turn on one of my favorite songs. You've done it, don't lie. It's called Hound Dog, baby. Ain't nothing but a hound dog to cry the whole time. You know the words. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Yeah, crying all the time. I just say it 20 times in a row. Hit song. This rock and roll stuff's easy. Uh, tell me then, uh, how did you, what, what sparks your fascination with Elvis? Uh, well, I was born him, and uh, that probably has something to do with it. You, okay, no. How did Rob Balston become fascinated with Elvis? Huh, I've heard of this Rob Balston. Funny guy. Yeah, just check out his Entertainment Week in Review tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Makes me chuckle. Uh, I heard a story about that Balston guy. I heard in grade five, check this, Meadowbrook Elementary School, Newmarket, Ontario. Rob Balston won a lip sync contest. Grade five, beat out grade eight. Even the teachers were cheering. Pretty awesome guy. As Elvis Presley, a dedicated fan and impersonator. Uh, <laughs> I have I to ask know. you, Rob, John Lennon once said, before Elvis there was nothing. How do you feel about the statement, there were probably wouldn't have been the Beatles without Elvis? Yeah, well, you know, it's a weird thing uh, you bring that up. Uh, there probably wouldn't be Nickelback without me either, and I apologize for that. <laughs> but as far as the Beatles and this John Lennon guy, I knew right away, no talent, wasn't going to make it. Well, thank you, Rob. Uh, Graceland will be celebrating Elvis' birthday today and for the rest of 2015. If you celebrated the King's birthday, send us a photo of how you marked the occasion. Uh, thank you, Rob, for joining. You're going to say Elvis has left the building. When you leave. Oh, when you leave. Okay. Elvis has apparently left the building. Thank you, and from Castanet Studios, I'm Jen Zelensky.